Hey guys, this is Ross, and today I'm in the greenhouse, and it's a great day. I'm really having a lot of fun. I've been doing a lot of grafting, and I've also been doing some rooting. And I've been doing rooting for quite some time now. I've been rooting since, um, since December, probably. And I did some rooting today, and I, I wanted to show you guys how I do it. A lot of you guys asked me tons of questions about it. Uh, because you weren't sure how to do it, and I just never made a video on it. But there is some videos, particularly um, Harvey at, at Figaholics, he made a video on it, uh, of the method that I use. Uh, he wasn't the one to originally find the method, uh, neither was I, but uh, it's the method I use. I think it's the best method, and it's really easy, um, because what I do here, I already have two of them rooted here. I buy these tree pots, they're 9 inches tall by 4 inches, and I fill them with medium. This medium is soilless. This is peat moss and perlite only. About, you want to aim for about 50% of each. I personally hate perlite because it is really dusty, and if you breathe in that dust, it causes cancer. So uh, my, my numbers are a bit off, you know, it's not exactly 50-50 here, it's more peat moss than... than um, perlite and what I want to show you here is how I did this I can easily take this out here so one of the tips I did one of the tips I want to show you guys is really press this down compact this soil well because you want as much moisture to be hitting this cutting and but you don't want this soil too moist because if it's too moist this cutting is gonna rot and you're gonna get mold uh, this is an old cutting of mine that I've been rooting for quite some time and I actually just took it into the greenhouse because I cut off the top the top buds were not coming out and I took this out of the pot and realized there's no roots but what there is is what there is 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 these little bumps here on the bottom this is callus and these are the form the beginnings of formations of roots so I'm on the right track and in fact these buds are already coming out that bud and this bud's coming out so what I did was I just wanted to stick this guy back in the soil and hope that he does he does well and you can see I'm having a having a hard time getting this guy in here that's because the soil is so compacted and what that means is that the soil is really just touching this cutting everywhere and that's gonna provide the right moisture that you want on the cutting you don't want this too wet like I said but you also don't want it too dry right now it's a little on the dry side the rooting medium is perfect though for rooting this cutting you don't need any more moisture than that's in here although sometimes for thicker cuttings this is about pencil width thickness here uh, if it's thicker than that I usually what I'll do is um, is put some more water in there because the thicker the cutting is, the less chance you'll have rot. And I want to show you this other cutting here. Uh, this is a fresh cutting in here. I just put this one in here. It, it has been sitting in the fridge. And what I, the first thing I did was I cut off the bottom. I made a new cut, a fresh cut. And then what I did was I made a score. I scored the cutting here. And that exposes more of the cambium layer, the, this green layer here. You can see it in the camera slightly. But that very green layer right next to the brown bark is the cambium layer. And this is where the roots will come out of on the cambium layer. So the more cambium contact you have with the soil and the moisture, the humidity, the better chance you'll have of getting more roots or getting roots at all. The other thing I want to mention is that I've been using grafting tape. This is perfect. Grafting tape is a, is a magical creature <laughs> in the world of fruit trees. Uh, it really has a lot of uses and what this is going to do is it's going to prevent this cutting from drying out. Because the, the cutting is above, whatever is above the soil will bud out. Whatever is below the soil will bud out too sometimes depending on the energy of the cutting but it's not going to have enough energy to go through nine inches of soil so you really want this uh cutting on the top here this is your prime this is your prime cutting if you can afford it put as many cutting and as many buds as you can 
above the soil. Um, usually two is a great number. One is the minimum, obviously, and three is probably the maximum. And then below the soil, you want this thing to be filled with buds because the cutting actually gets, um, gets filled with, the cutting actually forms roots um, at every bud, at every node. So not only will this cutting form at the bottom that I showed you, there was a score, but also at every node, they will form roots. Um, something to note is that I didn't stick this cutting all the way down at the bottom. You really want to give this cutting a little bit of room off the bottom. That just helps with drainage and moisture and prevents rotting. So that's really it. I stretched the parafilm tape around, around the uh, cutting, everything that's above the soil, and then the moisture stays in this cutting and it doesn't dry out. It also helps with humidity. It increases the humidity on this bud, and the higher the humidity, the like, more likely chance that this bud's gonna come out. At least that's what I find. The other absolute must thing that you need to pay attention to is the temperature and the humidity. Now the humidity I already talked about, but the temperature is an absolute must. If you're trying to root a cutting in less than 70 degrees, you're not going to succeed. Uh, it's a pretty slim chance. Maybe in the high 60s you can make it work, um, but you really want the soil temperature um, to be and the air, you want the air temperature to be somewhere between 70 to 80, but you want the soil temperature to be pretty warm as well. Because uh, subtropical trees just don't grow well in temperatures below 70. So it's important to get the temperature right. It's important to get the humidity right. And the other th great thing about this, graft this grafting tape is that um, you don't need a humidity bin because the buds will go straight through. They will grow straight through that tape it's wax, it, it uh, dissolves in the sun, it is biodegradable, and, and then those buds, those new leaves that come out, the stems will all be adjusted to the current room humidity, which is exactly what you want. A lot of people use humidity bins, and I think that's not a great idea because I've killed a lot of cuttings using humidity bins. It can work, don't get me wrong, it's just that when you take the cutting out of the, the head of the humidity bin and you try to adjust it to the room humidity or the humidity outdoors, uh, usually the plant's not strong enough to survive and the leaves will fall and the stem will dry up and shrivel and you just lost the cutting. So uh, that's my advice on rooting and like I said this video has already been done but I think the finer details are uh, really what's, what's going to shine through in this video. So. Uh, pay attention to the small details and you know um, if you don't succeed your first couple times then you know don't give up because uh, my first year was horrendous and my second year I've had close to a 90% uh, success rate with my cuttings thus far so um, this was Ross and you know thanks for watching have a good day